Well, hey family, this is Darlene. Happy Saturday. Um, I was out and about moving around. And uh, the purpose of my moving around was to go to the local uh, craft stores only because of their Memorial Day sales, right? So um, generally, they be having some pretty good little Memorial Day sales. So I went to Hobby Lobby, uh, Joann's, and Michael's, right? Uh, just to start off, Hobby Lobby, I didn't find anything I wanted in Hobby Lobby. I walked through the aisles probably three times going back and forth, you know, just looking and then re-looking and then looking and re-looking. But there was nothing in there that I wanted in the sense of uh, uh, the, the beads, right? Um, and I remember standing there thinking, everything is always the same. Can you guys add some variation? Can you change beads out every once in a while? Um, and for me, I'm finding that the the best time to buy beads in the local store for me is only when they have sales. Any other time I'm ordering stuff offline because it only makes sense and I can find different beads online or paint the beads myself, which is working out very well for me, right? So I went because, um, you know, they're all having their little sale and stuff. So at uh, Joanne's, I, of course, got um, some of the ideology uh, tokens. So I did get some of these. Everything was on sale. Um, it was two coupons. And the lady found another discount from somewhere. I don't know how she did that, but she, she came up with a whole nother discount. So I got these. I did get these uh, camera charms. I like these. I'm probably going to put these on some, some bracelets. And let's see what else we got. And I do want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. And I want to thank you for joining the Jury by BDK uh, community here on YouTube. And I do hope that you see something that inspires you or even hear something that inspires you to create or to continue creating. And, um, you know, if you do create, and it's something that you enjoy doing, uh, take it to a whole nother level. That might be vending. It might be starting up a website. It might be selling on one of the platforms that allow you to sell. But um, if it's what you feel is your purpose and it's something you enjoy doing and it's quality what you're making, take that stuff to a whole nother level. You know, don't just create and have a whole bunch of product and collection and stuff laying around or you begin to wear it yourself because you don't know what to do with it, Right. No, start elevating to different levels. There's a whole lot of different directions that you can go in uh, with the product that you make. But anyway, I did get wire. Um, I got the wire on sale. So I used a bunch of coupons and some other stuff. I did get uh, stretch cord. I really didn't need stretch cord, but I bought some stretch cord, okay? Just, just to have it because it's sales. So I did that. Um, also, what I did is I got some black ear wires and some black wire because I, I want to try something. I'm going to try something different. I did make some earrings using color ear wire and wire some time back, but for some reason I just didn't do it. But um, I'm going to try something out. I got a vision in my mind uh, that I want to see, that I want to manifest. So I'm going to see if it's going to come out looking as pretty as it is in my mind. So I did get, you know, the wire to match the ear wires. I did get that. And in addition to that, I'm going to try something else with a copper wire. So I did get ear wires to match with the copper wire because, again, in my mind, there's a vision and I want to manifest it and I want to see if it's going to be as pretty as what I do see in my mind. So I am going to be using some of the hand painted beads in addition to, you know, some other beads I probably bought today or what I have around here. So I did get this. In addition to that, I did get more of the gold ear wires. I have a bunch of these around here, but remember, anytime there's a sale, I'm going to grab some. So I got these. And, okay, beads. I like the Indonesian type beads, so I did get two of these. I love these beads, but the only time I buy them is when they're on sale. So these were $2.99 a strand. So I did get these. Two strands. Love, love, love these beads. And then I also got some in purple. I don't be too much picking up purple. I don't know why, but I really don't be picking up purple for some reason. But I did do some purple uh, hand-painted beads. So I'm going to match those beads that I hand-painted with um, a couple of these beads. That's one of the reasons why I bought these. 
So I said, I'm sure these beads will match well with those hand painted beads that I um, that I painted. So I did get two of these, two ninety nine each. So we did the, the two ninety nine is even better when they have is it four for ten, four for ten, three, six, nine. $12. Yep, that still beats it because if we pay three, three, six, that would be $3.33 per strand, I, I believe. So you are doing better with this when they do the $2.99. Boy, they be having them down to the pennies, don't they? Um, I did get these and I love these. Um, I don't think I've ever seen this color in my in my Joann's. And if and if they've been there, <laughs> I must have just overlooked them. Um, and I find that very hard to believe because I like these beads. And the reason why I got these too for the color and also because every one of these beads on here I could use. And I like these gold uh, beads that they put on here. They feel like they might be plastic. Yeah, they feel plastic. They don't feel like they're metal. They feel plastic. But they're still good. I like them. So... And that's the reason why I got these. I really like these beads. Okay. So we got that. Um, oh, also these. These are some beautiful. I mean, I picked these up when I saw the blue. In fact, I grabbed these before I grabbed anything. Just the blue. How pretty they are. They almost look like. What is that bird? Like a flamingo or something? You could see the shape of whatever that. It's not a bird or anything, but it, it gives the illusion like a like a flamingo or a swan or some type of bird, the way that it looks. And I was like, is that a flamingo or ostrich or what is that? But it's just the the design. But I thought these. I think these are amazingly beautiful. The color blue. Um, and then I was thinking, the reason why I grabbed them is I was thinking to myself, I can take the glass beads and wrap them in wire like I do these beads right here. Um, and then maybe wrap them in different color wire, if not different color wire. I don't want to wrap them in gold wire, maybe different color wire because i got a lot of different color wire here. Maybe wrap it in different color wire and then give it, you know, this type of look. And then maybe make a real pretty, a real pretty necklace, you know, using some other type of beads. But I'm, I'm going to mix it. I'm, I'm going to do something with them because I said, oh, I can do a lot with that. I could even take the bead and then wrap it in the wire and then maybe make it a focal for a bracelet. Um, but I'm going to do something with it. I really love the color. They, uh, maybe even uh, earrings too. So these are gorgeous. Also, the last piece I got from Joann's was these. These are the ugliest but prettiest beads to me, <laughs> right? These are the ugliest but the prettiest beads to me. The ugliest because they look like, you know, them little soaps that you be getting that be shaped like uh, shells and all that kind of stuff. This is what they look like to me. However, I like them. I don't like them, but I like them. And I'm going to use them, I'm thinking, maybe like for a bracelet, like for a focal point for a bracelet. And then surround the bead, the bead with beautiful other beads. Um, maybe some that I bought today or maybe some that I painted. Not really sure yet. Um, I only bought one strand. I didn't buy two because I, it's an ugly bead. I don't like it. But I know that I could do something with it. So when I start matching it with other beads, that will let me know if I want to go back and, and you know, grab a couple more beads. Because I think that sale is going to be on for a couple of days. I think until the 29th or something. So if once I make something with these, if I really like it, I'll go back and get, you know, a strand or two just to have them. But that's all I got at uh, Joann's. A bunch of beads. And my whole thing is... Um, the beads to me are not even worth buying unless they're on sale. Uh, that's why I will buy a bunch of stuff offline. I generally will buy offline and I buy offline because um, economically it makes more sense. Um, the beads out of the craft stores, it don't even make sense to buy them unless they're on sale. So that's why when I do go in and I buy, I try to, you know, stock up on some stuff 
And um, even if I don't, because I do know uh, my habit is not to be buying beads if I don't need beads, right? So this is this is a nice supply. And then plus I have the Michaels. I'm getting ready to do that video now. But um, this is a nice supply to be able to do some stuff with. And then sometime, you know, for me, I could make something. And I really, I like it, but I don't like it. So what I'll do is I'll take it apart and then I'll make something else out of it, right? Or I'll make it and if I'm at an event with it or something and it doesn't sell based on interest or non-interest from, from people, I will take it apart, maybe add something to it, you know, do something different to it or just literally recycle it, okay? And that just, you know, that's just pens. But anyway, my haul from Joann's with all these goodies right here. I did pretty good. Did pretty good. When I saw these, I liked these. So I said, oh, okay, I can use those for charms. So these, and then also these. Uh, I've been, when I go to Joann's, I go look for these specifically. These things have not been in, in the store since I did that first video on these tokens. Not saying that video had anything to do with why these tokens are not in the store, but ever since I did that first video with these tokens, I have not been able to find these um, in Joann's at all, period. And I looked up and found this one pack in the store today. How crazy is that, right? So I was just like, wow, let me go ahead and grab them because it's a sale day. So I do have these. And um, that's all the goodies from Joanne. Uh, got a lot of bees. Did pretty good. So I am going to be doing some more creating and some other stuff. So I got, uh, what's today? Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I got three days just to live and breathe and exist in creativity. And that is what I am planning to do. Okay. I'm going to come out Sunday. I'm going to go to worship in the morning, uh, come back home, create some more, do some more stuff, go back to service on Sunday night at five o'clock. Um, after I leave service, I'm going to come back home and I'm just going to create and I have Monday off. So I'm going to just create all day Monday and, um, you know, kind of keep the group going. But anyway, this is my Joanne Hall and we'll talk.